land, domestic air, and domestic sea travel to and from Metro Manila shall be suspended beginning 15, 2020, March, March 15, 2020, and to end on April 14, 2020. Hi. So the word difficult, I think, would be an understatement for 2020. It was not just difficult for us as humanity, but also our economy, the whole world experience. We were literally stopped in our tracks. We closed down businesses, we stayed off the road, closed down our doors, our windows, we stayed inside in fear of our lives. It was not because of a war, it's not because of anything else, but, well, COVID-19. This documentary focuses not only on the negative things that happened, but I would like to focus on some positive things as well. Not just for us human beings, our economy, and especially the living systems that surround us and we interact with. In this documentary, I will not be the only one speaking. We have our guest speaker, Michelle. Michelle, take it away. Hi. Thanks, Michelle. And for those who don't know me, my name is Lucky. I am the one-night artist with all is said and done. It's all your intro. Common to human belief, the world and everything in it revolves around us. But I'm joking, right? Anything that we touch, interact, come across with, has drastically changed to fit our needs. If it's not, we make it. Right? Animals, plants, wildlife, and anything on top of this earth is made to tailor fit to our own needs. But 2020? made us all stop and think what a want and a need is. The economy stopped to a grinding halt. Things that were not important suddenly became important. We rethought or we rethink what is a necessity. We were ushered in to what we call now as the new normal. The new normal changed us. Some for the better, some for the worse. I completely agree with you. Last year has been one of the most challenging years that the world has faced, and we are continuously fighting our unseen foe. Worse, it keeps evolving and managed to hit humanity in great magnitude, not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, and financially. What more does COVID-19 can do to us? In an interview in Berkeley News, uh, a guest likened our economy to an old furnace in their campus. During the pandemic, they opted not to stop the furnace. They were afraid that if they did, it would never start up again since it was old and, well, technically, it was really old. Now, our economy is like that furnace. It's really old. It was built upon uh, the systems that, that we already had. It was not fit for the changes that drastically happened during 2020. The new normal requires us to change and rethink our economy. What happened is, as they said, far worse than the Great Depression, even the recession. And time can only tell if it's gonna be going back up again. Like that old furnace, one stop, and it did. 
will it start back up again? Or do we need to get a new furnace, rebuild it from scratch, and go from there? If people would only chime in, taking part of such small steps, it would bring lasting impacts not just to our own way of living, but how we interact with our environment. As the biggest factor in this planet for change, any step we take, either for the good or the bad, affects everything in it. With the changes we took to adjust to the new normal, we witnessed a drastic improvement in our environment. Though it was just for a short span of time, the quality of air in the metro drastically improved. Without even seeing the data from the scientific research, you can visually see, feel, smell the changes. We can finally breathe a cleaner air. And in some places, the waterways were visually cleaner and some wildlife has emerged back to the places where they were not usually seen before. Just imagine what the environment would look like if there is more time for it to recuperate from the damage we have greatly caused. Speaking of environment, there's a Harvard study. The study goes that there is a connection between the pandemic and climate change. Hear me out. So deforestation is the main root cause of climate change, but that's not the, the only thing. It mitigates it, yeah, but yeah. There's also biodiversity loss and the migration of animals, which like, we know it's either a pan or a pandolin that caused this, but the migration of animals causes diseases that were not usually in the area to be transferred to a different one. Also, the rethinking of how we raise livestock, because we all know that livestock is raised in close quarters, which promotes viruses, bacteria, and sickness. And uh, understanding those things would help us really mitigate a lot of sicknesses, a lot of um, uh, health, uh, detrimental health benefits that we get, not benefits, detrimental health issues that we have, right? More forests, better oxygen, better lungs, and that's what COVID attacks better chances, right? Yes, climate change has also been a big part of the pandemic that we are experiencing right now. Same with the Ebola epidemic in West Africa, it most likely occurred partly because bats carried the disease and they were forced into new habitat, mainly due to the forest that they used to live in had been cut down to grow palm oil trees or make another real estate place. Its impact is the result of our own doings. We have seen rise in the emergence of infectious disease in the recent decades. Let us have a look at the origins of COVID-19. It actually reveals that other forces are in play. For centuries, we have escalated our demands upon nature. We are losing species with an unknown rate. We have dismantled life on Earth because of habitat loss. We have raised the number of growing crops and raising stock for us. With fewer places to live and food source to feed on, animals tend to find food and shelter where people are, and that can lead to the spread of the disease. In some countries, cases of COVID-19 is starting to decline. It is unfortunate that we are starting the old economy. We are witnessing the drastic decline of whatever our environment has achieved the past months. We may not be the center of the universe, and we certainly prove that the world does not revolve around us. Instead, the world evolved through us. As we continue to fight this pandemic, it has also showed us that we are the drivers of change, especially for the environment and the living systems around us. 
that the system that we have stopped was old does not fit the new normal that we have makes us think that do we really need to go back to the way it was or do we really need that new furnace can we find the balance that would not just ensure longevity of the environment but also our economy in turn better for us human beings i would like to close with this saying we are not in the same boat but we surely are in the same storm we are facing not just a problem for human beings but everything in this world that we are in and as caretakers of this world we should make better and more uh, educated decisions to ensure the longevity ensure the safety ensure the health of future generations to come